Hey guys, I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time. Actually, it has been in the works for the past three or four years, but seriously, since early 2021. Um, disclaimer here, I'm not a professional financial advisor. I'm not a professional broker. I'm doing this out of my own uh, knowledge what I have found out and this is only to kind of give you a, a start on investing and this is how I started my investing and I started slow started earlier this year uh, with about a hundred bucks and I moved up slowly but surely now, being that said, I've been educating myself on investing and that has come with some losses. I have actually lost some money, but on the other hand, I have made some money on other areas. So, uh, I guess everything has a risk. The higher the risk, the higher the return. And... I'm going to show you guys what I have done to invest and grow money and uh, have at least a return. Now, being that said, once again, this is just for the purposes of what I'm doing. If you guys have some type of... Uh, um, recommendations I'll be more than welcome to uh, consider them if this is going to help you in some way or how amazing go for it so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually turn on the recorder here all right guys so I have my investing app up here for my personal investing I use Robinhood and you can use Wells Fargo, Vanguard, uh, TD Trade, uh, Webull, PayPal. I believe PayPal is using some type of cryptocurrencies. But for my personal investing, I'm actually using Robinhood. So I started with about $100, $75 earlier this year. And I have been investing little by little. Right now, we can see that I have a thousand dollars, about a thousand dollars investing. I have the buying power of one hundred and seventeen dollars. So if we go down here, right now I'm investing in Amazon, Tesla, POAI, which is a healthcare micro share or actually stock penny stocks we have cprx which is another pharmaceutical company we have sli which is a standard lithium we have mmm which is 3ms or 3m actually and then we have qqq all right, so that's pretty much what I'm investing on, and I'm also investing on Bitcoin. Very, very, very little, but I'm investing a little bit on it. So, let me explain to you how I came up with BT and QQQ. If we look at BT, that is Vanguard Total World Stock. So the best way I can explain this to you guys is, let's say you have a basket. And in that basket, you have a little bit of eggs, carrots, potatoes, onions, bell pepper, chicken, some fruits and 
what I'm trying to say with this is that you are investing in all the companies together. And you can go by the old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket because if one of them or, or if you drop the basket, then you may lose all of them. So the Vanguard total stock EFT is a basket and they have an expense ratio of 0 0.08. I like to keep the expense ratio less than 10. And so let's go ahead and look at BT a little bit further. So the best thing we can do is actually going to the Vanguard website and I go into personal investors. Then I'm going to click down. I'm going to click on explore our products. And then I'm going to look at EFTs. So here we have the list of the EFTs and I'm going to look for BT. And I have it right here. So the EFT is a risk potential of four. Let's keep in mind, the higher the risk, the higher the return, but you may gain a lot of money, but you may also lose a lot of money. And This basket or this EFT has the main 10 largest holdings is, or to be more specific, are Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, Taiwan Semiconductor, Berkshire Hathaway, Nvidia, and JP Morgan. So, this specific EFT, it's about $105.42. That means that when you buy one EFT, which is about 105, you are investing in Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, and so on. Now, this EFT, has about 9,299 stock in this actual basket. So that $100 is going pretty much everywhere to invest in all different markets. And to be more specific, if we look at the left hand here, you are investing about 10% in emerging markets, 16% in Europe, 11% in the Pacific, 0.2% in the Middle East, 61% in North America, and 0.2% in other areas of the world. Okay, so now we have the basics about BT, which is a, an EFT, which is a basket that has many, many stocks. Now, another stock that uh or EFT that I'm actually investing is QQQ. So if we go to the Invesco website, we can see that QQQ it is pretty much focused on Nasdaq 100 index. It has its top 10 holdings on Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet, NVIDIA, Google, 
PayPal, Adobe. Now, just to get the entire pie here, it has about 48.82% in information technology. It has 19.53% in communication services, 17.42% in consumers discretionary, 6.7% in healthcare, 4.84% in consumer staples, and 2.6% in industrials and utilities. So this is pretty much the entire pie for this specific EFT. Now, what I like about Robinhood is that you can also invest in MicroShare. This means that if you don't have the entire, for example, the QQQ is 370 per EFT, if you don't have that, you can put $100 towards it and you are buying micro shares. You're buying a portion of the basket. Now, if we see the buying power that I have currently on Robinhood, I have about $117. I'm going to go into Vanguard and I'm going to look for an EFT that covers the S&P 500, which is the 500 largest companies in the United States. Let's keep in mind, I want to invest in different areas and I don't want to keep one specific stock in one basket because if one of them fails, then you're gonna lose all that money. I'm going back to the EFT and this time, I'm going to filter the, for the EFT. I'm going to go ahead and select the Vanguard Select EFT. And then I'm going to see what the results give me. And I can see that one of the best EFT is BOO. This is a large cap lend. It invests in the S&P 500 and it has about 15.47% return since inception back in September 2010. For the past year, it has returned about 29.96%. That's very, very, very healthy. And year to date, it has returned about 20.31%. If we click on it, we see that the risk potential is four. Now, what I like here is that the expense ratio is 0.03%. So you are paying them about $3 for every $10,000 that you have invested with them. They take care of all the allocations and so on. So this is actually very good. One EFT is about $409. And their top 10 largest holdings are once again, Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, Johnson & Johnson, and so on. So it's going to go ahead and invest in the top or largest 500 companies in the United States. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and I'm going to invest. So I'm going to go ahead and look here on search and I'm going to look for B O O. I have it here and I'm going to buy. I'm going to go ahead and put $50 into it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy $50 review swipe up done. Now 
I'm actually investing about $50 into VOO. And let's go back to my stocks. And now I have Amazon, Tesla, POAI, CPRX, SLI, BT, 3M, QQQ, and VOO. Now, a company that I'm eventually trying to get one full stock because I think this company is actually undervalued and I believe the experts think that the actual value for one stock or one share of this company should be about a thousand dollars and the company is Tesla right right now it's trading at eight hundred fifty nine dollars so what I'm going to do I'm going to click here I'm going to click trade buy and I have sixty seven dollars with eleven cents and I'm going to go ahead and buy sixty dollars worth of shares review swipe up done so now I'm investing into Tesla Amazon and so on right now I have 0 0.799627 shares once again these are micro shares eventually I'm trying to go all the way to one share eventually I will get there and I have seven dollars and eleven cents left to invest I'm going to invest in the QQQ EFP and I'm going to go ahead and click trade buy and I'm going to invest seven dollars with 11 cents review swipe up done let's go back to all my stocks and now I have a total investment of a thousand dollars in investment and two days so far I have gained about eleven dollars and ninety cents so overall this is the way I'm investing and I'm moving slowly but surely uh, I want to keep investing at least my goal is two hundred dollars per month and build wealth the stock market is up down the goal here is that you don't pull your money you want to keep it in there and eventually it will grow you have to keep a mindset that the money has to stay there for at least 10 to 20 years to see a very good return so if you found this video of any value click the like button leave any suggestions or comments if you want let's Keep in mind, and once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a professional. I'm just doing this for myself. I have been doing a lot of research for the past eight months, is to be specific. Been doing research, reading books, tons of video, reading the different websites and so on. So, so far, this, this is my strategy to grow wealth now eventually I will tell you guys how I came up to this investing decision and the most important part is that you want to pay off all your debt first pay it all off and then you can go ahead and invest Thank you guys.
thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.